Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. No, it's not clickbait. Is your solar panel on the roof of your caravan or your motorhome or camper van up to date? Because up until a few weeks ago, ours wasn't. Now it is and I want to have a chat about it. So let's go inside. Well, I'm glad I came inside. It's just started to rain. So if you hear any noise on the camera sound, I do apologize. So what do I mean by out of date? Well, our caravan was bought new in 2018 and at that time we had a solar panel fitted to the roof and a regulator fitted within the wardrobe to charge the, and top up the battery for the caravan. Now, it's worked and performed excellently, but over the years it started to show its age and also it's not powering the battery as, as well as it should do. So it's getting out of date and it's getting old. So we need to swap out and we need to try one of the new ones. Now, I'll explain very quickly what, what they are. So the old one was what they call pulse width modulation or PWM. And the new more modern ones now are MPPT, which is maximum power point tracking. So what's the difference between the old PWM and the new MPPT? I think the best way we can do this is I'm going to leave a pause and read just now so that you can check it out for yourself. But in a nutshell, the MPPT is a lot more efficient at doing the job that you want it to do, which is control the voltage and charge your battery and keep it regulated. So how did we discover that the regulator needed to be changed and updated? Well, quite simple really, we were down at Falcon chatting to Chris and we were doing some work on the Falcon power station. And during the conversation, he suggested that it'd be a great idea if his team fitted a socket with inside the caravan that we could plug a lead into and charge the from the solar the uh, power station. And we thought that was a really good idea. Chris asked where our current regulator was. I explained it was in the wardrobe and he took a look and he said, oh, we can't do it with this current regulator because it's a PWM and it won't work. What you need is a more up-to-date MPPT. So he explained what that was and we said it was a great idea and he fitted one to the caravan. So what are the benefits of an MPPT above a PWM? Well, quite a lot actually, and I'm going to explain them now. As in the pause and read, you could see that the MPPT is a lot more efficient and very flexible with how it works and operates its charging. But also, you can actually control the MPPT from your phone. The Falcon one has Bluetooth, which is great. Now, I like it because I can check on my phone and it shows me how much... Uh, load has been on the actual system, what the current uh, voltage is of the battery and also there are settings. Now if you want to step up in the future to a lithium battery then that's not a problem because within the MPPT there is a, a section where it can change and adapt for different kinds of batteries. So you've got your standard lead acid, you've gel batteries and also lithium and you can set the settings within your phone for the MPPT for the battery that you've got, which I think is a really good idea. It works off Bluetooth, as, as I said, and there's a small app on your phone, which is great. So the actual app is Solar Life. We'll just click on that now. It comes up with options, and our option is Lost Weekend, so we're just going to click on that, and up comes the system itself. So it's showing us at the moment that the battery has got no load on it and also it's at 99% charge the battery. We have the charge float, we have the battery and the load. Now what I like about this is let's go into the battery as an example. And we can see at the moment the current battery, there's no amps running off it at the moment. But if we scroll up, we can actually check and manage what the battery's doing over the last 60 days, which I think is a really good idea. And you can do that with the load as well. If you click other actions, you've got, you can change the language, you've got instructions, a password should you wish to do it, and you can clear the data as well that's been historically stored. 
you can add also your own name personalize it like we've done and there's a demo mode as well communication choices it goes back to the front page that i showed you where last weekend's was but it's quite a comprehensive little app that helps you monitor and manage your battery now if you've got a newer caravan than i chances are you uh, have got an MPPT fitted already to your caravan, motorhome or camper van and they're either by Sergeant or they're by Truma. Now as I understand it at this present time neither of those two regulators are compatible with Bluetooth unlike the Falcon one. Now if it's a Truma one it's an MPPT but you can't control it like the Falcon one. Chris from Falcon looked into this and he has had made a box now that you can fit to the Truma MPPT regulator and control it with your phone from Bluetooth. Uh, I'll leave a link to it below because if you've got the Truma one this is a great option because I understand that Truma don't actually do this. Well folks that was PWM versus MPPT. I hope I've made it uh, as simple as possible so it's easier to understand because the science behind it can be quite complicated and I didn't want to go down that rabbit hole. In a nutshell, oh, as far as I'm, I'm concerned, it future proofs your caravan at this present time. Um, if you're going to step up to either gel or uh, a lithium in terms of your battery and you want to manage it at a more efficient rate, then the Falcon MPPT is the way to go. But if you already have an MPPT and it's by Truma, then the Falcon dongle box for the Bluetooth is a must. I'll leave links to them all below so that you can check them out. But thank you very much for watching. I do hope you'll join us again real soon. But in the meantime, bye for now.